Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Tanwir Iqbal, teacher by Sir Gul Shatik of Class Part 8, Subject Dental Science. The last lecture of the chapter, the cell, and the topic is diversity in cells. Diversity, we mean, what we mean by the diversity? Diversity is the many vast number of organisms or things or anything. What have the different characteristics and what have the different sizes, shapes, etc. Whatsoever they are, they have different features in them. So that is called diversity. We have considered the basic features of the cells in last lectures. But that doesn't mean that cells are identical. Nucleus, mitochondria, cytoplasm are common to all cells. But the, what may differ is size, shape, the contents. And that means there shows a lot of variation. These features are closely linked to the functions which the cells perform. That means what kind of shape the cell has, what is the amount or what is the number of the cells that clearly defines what kind of labor that cell is doing, what kind of function that cell is meant for. Let me tell you, in a unicellular organism, all the life processes what are needed for an individual to survive, that is like nutrition, like respiration, excretion, growth and reproduction, these are carried by that single cell only. But in multicellular organisms, these tasks or functions are divided among groups or cells. For one kind of cell, they make tissues and organs or system, they do one kind of work. Other cells, they make tissue, they do another kind of work. Different cells, they combine to form tissues and organs and organ system, they do different type of work. That means it is the best example of division of labor. A group of cells show variability in their shape, size, and other features depending on the function they perform. Like nerve cells are long in size, they do communication between the body parts and they take the message to the brain and spinal cord and then bring the message back how to perform that function. First point is the cell number. Unicellular organisms are formed by single cell, that is only one cell. Multicellular organisms are made of many cells, which in turn may be of many types. In multicellular organisms, the number of cells may vary a lot. It may be just a few. That means in some alga it is a few. And in very some alga these are a few hundred. But in the plants and animals they may be many, many millions and take up to billions and trillions. Here we can discuss an example of a newborn baby that has at least 2,000 million cells. That is 2 followed by 10 zeros. A newborn baby can, be ha can have 2 followed by 10 zeros, 2,000 million cells. The second point that we discuss is today, today is cell size. Yesterday I told you that some plant and animal cells are visible to the naked eye as such normally, but many of the cells are only visible with a good strong microscope. If we take the case of an animal cell, the largest animal cell is an ostrich egg. It can be as big as 117 to 135 millimeter. And if we discuss about smallest cell that is of a bacteria, mycoplasma. That is about 0.1 micron, which means 10,000 part of a millimeter. 10,000 millimeters karo dasas histoot la kutis mycoplasm bacteria. Koi plants or algae is made bohot buddy cells hoti. Ek alga hai estabularia, which is a unicellular organ, consists of a single cell which is about 10 centimeter in length. 10 centimeter. Use the sigil asanchu, which has a panda centimeter. Alga da centimeter karo, so she ak. Cell fibers in plants like jute and hemp to permutu jute ke sutlu sutlu kul the hemp tissue to kula such as a few centimeters long any bird bar cell in our body nerve cells are the largest measuring about 90 micrometers in length some nerve cells are longer than a meter what you want a meter zot hek set ka nerve cells circular lakachu asach mushada blood cell jo sabse choti 
ہوتی ہیں ریڈ بلڈ سیل اگر ہم میجر کریں گے نائن مائکرامز ہے باقی سیلز جو ہیں کڈنی کی لیور کی انڈسٹائن کی دیز آر بٹوین ٹوینٹی ٹو تھرٹی مائکرو میٹرز ان ڈائی میٹر ہین کی ایگ اگر بات کریں گے اس کا سینٹر کل بات کر رہے تھے ہم سینٹر پارٹ جو یلو پارٹ اس کو یوگ بولتے ہیں بور وائٹ جو ہے وائٹ ایسے نہیں ہوتا ہے کلر لیس ہوتا ہے وہ ہوتا ہے البیومن یلو یوگ جو ہوتا ہے ایٹس اے سنگل سیل دا لاسٹ پوائنٹ دی سیل شیپ سیلز کین ہاو ڈائیور شیپس وی نو اباؤٹ امیبا وی نو اباؤٹ وائٹ بلڈ سیل دیٹ کنٹینیوسلی چینج یئر شیپس ایز پر دا انورانمنٹ بٹ موسٹ سیلز مینٹین اے کانسٹنٹ شیپ آل تھرو دیئر ایگزسٹنس لائک دیر نرو سیل مسل سیل ایپیتھیل سیل دے ڈونٹ ہیو چینج یئر شیپ واٹ کائنڈ آف شیپ آئی آلریڈی ٹولڈ یو واٹ کائنڈ آف شیپ سیل ہیز دیٹ پرفارم دیٹ ٹیلز اس واٹ کائنڈ آف فنکشن دیٹ سیل پرفارم اینڈ نرو سیل کلیئرلی ایگزبٹس دس ریلیشن شیپ اٹ از لانگ برانچ اینڈ ہیز تھریڈ لائک پروجیکشنز سو اٹ ہیز ٹو کنوے دی میسیج ٹو ڈفرنٹ پارٹس آف دا باڈی فرام برین ٹو اینڈ فرام برین ٹو اینڈ فرام اسپائنل کارڈ اچھا سا میسیج نی اسپائنل کارڈس کو برین کو تچ میسیج آسا واپس نین یس ٹو کمیونیکیشن گسان چھ باڈی پارٹ اگر کن جائے کیول لگان چھ کیول ترک لگان چھ اس برین اس واتناو میسیج اس اسپائنل کارڈس واتناو میسیج اچھا اس پین کرا اگر کن جائے توت چھ اس لگان او اتھس لگان کھورس لگان باڈی پارٹس کو توت لگان اس یوتا جلدی میسیج نو اس طرح سمجھ اتھ ہٹاؤس اس اتھ ہٹاؤس سم ٹائم دیر انوالٹری فنکشن سم ٹائم دیر والنٹری فنکشن دا لاسٹ پارٹ نو از basic facts of cell structure and function on the basis of the above study what we studied from last three four lectures general point is which here shared by all cells more cells are the basic structural units of all organisms we discussed in lecture one cells are the functional units of all organisms as cells carry out all body functions of an organism all cells contain cell organ tamam cell jo cell organelles hoti hain functions of cells are responsible for the functions of آرگنزم چار پوائنٹ جو ہے بیسک ہمیں پتہ چلی اس سے یہ سیلز جو ہیں بیسک سٹرکچرل یونٹس ہیں سیلز یہ بناتی ہیں کیا ہے بلڈنگ جیسے بلڈنگس میں اینٹیں ہوتی ہیں ویسے ہی اور آرگنزم میں سیلز ہوتی ہیں سیلز آر دے فنکشنل یونٹس آف آرگن جب سیل کام کریں گی آرگنزم کام کرے گا سیل کام نہیں کریں گی آرگنزم کام نہیں کرے گا اور یہ تھرڈ پوائنٹ ہے ہمارا کہ تمام سیل جو ہے اس میں سیل آرگنلز ہوتی ہیں جو ہم نے پڑھا مائکرو کانڈر اینڈو پلازم کریٹیکولم پلاسٹیٹس کلور پلاسٹس Functions of cells is responsible for the functions of organism cell calm carrying, organism calm, carrying. that's all, we will study, we will do the exercise tomorrow, inshallah, or day after tomorrow, so it is, uh, you can see the pictures of those cells, either on textbook, this figure 16.10, or you can see in a YouTube video, in which they are easily, they are easily show the videos and lectures, about the cell structures and cell functions our teacher sajad saab has yesterday and that means on 23rd of uh, june shared a video about cell organelles you can also study that and take a good lesson from that anyways take care goodbye